Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is essentially part one of two. The second is going to be a Pokemon video, which we don't do often here on the channel. This is going to be the Yu-Gi-Oh portion of it. Uh, it's basically buying a bunch of items from GameStop um, using kind of some built-up trading credit that I had. Uh, but you can see kind of the price tag items here. There's about $46 uh, worth of GameStop items. Uh, and I don't play video games as much as I used to anymore. Uh, so, and most of stuff's digitized anyway, and I would just buy that from the stores directly. But as a side note and a digression, the question is whether $46 of Yu-Gi-Oh products from GameStop, yeah, if we get any good cards or pulls from it, you can kind of see the grab bag here. We got a couple Age of Overlord boosters, um, and then we got some Valiant Smashers rarity collection, and we got a tin as well. So we'll jump into it, see if we get anything good from the lot. Uh, and if we get anything that's totaling out worth, uh, you know, 46 bucks, <laughs> which is what the stickers say. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, Pokemon half of this is much more massive. This was every Yu-Gi-Oh item left on the shelf at the time. So not really a lot left. We got the Stardust Dragon promo. For the 25th century or the quarter century rare so that's not terrible there either it's one of the better promos and then we've got our three packs as well so from these pack wise what we'd be looking for is if we can get our hands on Fenrir if we can get our hands on uh, Druid Swarm, Rebellion, and then maybe Serenir. I know I've been selling Serenir. So like two or three copies of Serenir recently. And then um, maybe Garura. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon's got a few dollar value in it. But Fenrir basically makes up all the value uh, by itself for the tin. So we'll go through, see what we get. And uh, then head on to the other packs. The other packs obviously with Starlights and Quarter Centuries uh, can knock out the full value by themselves. Smoke Mosquito, we got Pass the Cell Coverture, Ronda and Griffin Rider, and then we got Ariane, the Labyrinth Servant. We got Rite of Aramisir, which I've got, been trying to move a handful of those. Rex for Hire, we got Scareclaw Straddle, Lightlaw Medium, Melfi Staring Contest, Rick Concon, and then Labyrinth Chandra Glear. I've had a, I've been trying to sell like a playset of Aramis here for a while. So I've got copies upon copies of that, uh, that one right there. That secret rare, Therian Cross, Predaplant. We've got Libromancer Bonded, Bufo Licula, S-Force Retroactive. We got Ice Jade Curse, Dynamorphia Domain, Spellbound, Water Enchantress of the Temple. And then Kashtira Ogre, which is not the Kashtira card that we want. Starlet Papillion. And then Barrage, Archfiend, Returnia, Archfiends, Sink Aun, or Sink Aun. Alright, we need a Finrir from this one. Oh, we got Lee Romance Fireburst, Sky Ninja, Dark Contract, Dynamorphia Alert, Scareclaw Sclash. We got Magigirl, Endless Engine Aggro System, Diplos. We got the Agent of Destruction Venus, Runix Freezing Curses, Psychic End Punisher, and we got Lubellion. So Lubellion's worth like 10, 12 bucks. So this is enough to really help out the value of the pack overall setup. Fire starter, and then I'm just gonna give you guys a quick view through here of the cards. Uh, so let me get sleeve real quick, put Lubellion up in that because Lubellion is gonna be there to make back a good chunk of that. So probably 12 of our $46 will go with on, uh, on the Lubellion front. So we'll put him off to the side where it is. Let's jump into Valiant Smashers because Valiant Smashers did not necessarily treat us well in the uh, 
video, but a collector rare could do some damage here overall to the uh, to the grand total. So let me uh, do some organization, get some stuff out of the way. All right. I'm opening that pack all upside down. We got Gravity Collapse, Advanced Draw, Versare, it's a Super Air, Call of the Haunted, Summoner Monk, The Abominable Snowman, and Cranium Burst. Let's find that other Valiant Smashers pack. Go ahead and slide that one out. I can get a Collector Rare. Or that Centurion. Centurion anything as an Ultra would be fantastic. So we got Draco Berserker of the Tin Yi, Supply Squad, Stand Up Centurion, and then Baguska called the Haunted in its 43rd print, and Angel of Zera wrap us up there. So nothing too crazy. Um, obviously, we got some decent ones. Age of Overlord. I'm going to go with Rarity Collection though first because uh, of that. Uh, Imperm and Ash, quarter century, if we hit those, that's, there's all our value there as well. So I am opening, these are all like, these blisters, all sorts of upside downs. All right, we got Fallen of Albaz, Shadal Schism. We got Danger Jackalope, Vision Hero Ferris. And the Iris Sword Soul. So all we got was Shadal Schism as the, uh, I think that was just the ultimate rare variant. Or sorry, that's the Prismatic Secret Rare. Or Quarter Century, whatever they call that new one. The newest Secret Rare variant. Not betting well for the whole team, but Age of Overlord can do us all well. Nice SP Little Knight pull. We've already sold one. <laughs> sold one SP Little Knight, the first one we ever got. But the quarter century is super rare. It's still, still ticking in near a nice four hundred and fifty something dollar probably. So we got Numerlia, we got Master Tao, Tarai, Starring Knight, we got Vanquish Soul, Zhao Long. It's an Ultra, it's not guaranteed Ultra, so let me figure out what the price of that is before we end the video. Realm Eulogy and Return of the Testina. So, I do not know. I know he's got a Secret Rare variant. But, not sure what he's gonna be pulling. Dollar value wise. And then final pack. So we're still looking probably about 12 bucks. A few here and there. Nothing worth listing off here. Vanquish Soul. Xiao Long. Dang it. All right, SP Little Knight, quarter century, come on. We got Pit Knight Philly. We've got Kin, Discordance of the Tistina, Wat Kiyuki, and Supreme Gate Magician as an ultra. So nothing too crazy. Jiao Long is not worth a ton either, but probably have a couple dollars here. Should all schism. And then Psychic and Bunger, Red of Emerald Seer. I'm selling for like two bucks currently so obviously Lubellion's gonna do the brunt of the work there didn't get 46 back that's the risk you take but it was fun to see where it is like I said Pokemon video when that comes out that's what you guys are gonna want to see uh, let's see if it makes up the remaining value um, it's got to make up with that gonna be looking to <laughs> make up about 200 or so but plus plus this but check it out be sure you subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.